Drake ain't nobody at all Doctors, we body them all The prophets is back and we pulling your cards Your pastor a lie, he a fraud You messed up and stepped in a room full of gods And hopped in a pool full of sharks So watch what you saying when you do respond Or get left looking foolish and all Like who that one smoke ain't nobody at all Doctors, we body them all The prophets is back and we pulling your cards Your pastor a lie, he a fraud You messed up and stepped in a room full of gods And hopped in a pool full of sharks So watch what you saying when you do respond You were saying that we ain't supposed to judge, right? Give me Sirach 45, verse 26. Watch this. Sirach 45, verse 26. Let's see. If the Bible agrees with what we've been taught, you see what I'm saying? Because somebody taught you that. Somebody taught you that you ain't supposed to judge, right? The Bible don't say that. Watch this. Sirach chapter 45 and verse 26. God give you wisdom in your heart to judge. To what? To judge. To judge who? His people. <laughs> the Bible says God give you wisdom in your heart to judge his people. You his people. God gave us wisdom to judge you, bro. To tell you right from wrong. Right. Ain't that what a judge in the courtroom do? He tell you right from wrong. That's what we doing. We'll go to the courthouse and let that white man sit up there with that black uh, dress on or whatever robe on and tell you right from wrong. Right? He tell you, take your hat off when you come in here. Tuck your shirt in, right? What you do? You take that hat off immediately, do you not? When you, no, hold on. When you, when you enter his courtroom and he tell you to take the hat off and tuck your shirt in, what do we do? We out here telling you, throw that away because it's killing you and what you say. You can't judge me. Why you ain't tell that white man that? Huh? You right though. Read. God give you wisdom in your heart to judge his people in righteousness. And we judging you in righteousness. We telling you something that's going to save your soul. Taking a hat off in a building ain't going to save your soul. Tucking your shirt in in a building ain't going to save your soul. But we out here trying to save your soul. We telling you, hey, bruh, that right there will keep you out the kingdom of heaven. You saying if you judge me, you can't get into heaven. You keep smoking that, you ain't going to get in there. You got to throw that away, bruh. Toss it. Toss it. Watch this. Not smoke anything or you would not make it in the heaven. Give me Titus 2. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. Give me Titus 2. Give me Titus 2. Read. Titus 2 in verse 6. Young men likewise. What? Young men like God talking to you and you. Young men. Young men likewise. Exhort to be sober minded. The Bible says that you got to be sober minded. That right there alters your thinking. It alters your mind. You're not sober when you puffing on that. You see what I'm saying? You got to throw that away, bruh. You are God on this earth. Now give me 1 Corinthians 3 real quick. 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 16. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. You are the temple of God. The spirit of God dwell in both of you, man. That's why you standing here. Yeah. The spirit of God, your father talking to you, and you standing here listening. Yeah. That's why you standing here, because the spirit of God bear witness with that spirit that's in you. Read. Yeah. If any man defile the temple of God, you defile your temple when you put when you pollute it with smoke. That's defiling your temple because you're polluting it with strange smoke. Yeah. Read. Him shall God destroy. God said he'll destroy you. What that mean? No kingdom for you. No kingdom. You said, read it. We read it. He said he'll destroy you. Meaning you won't get the kingdom, bro. Read. For the temple of God is holy. Which temple ye are. You see that? Your vessel, that body is holy. Okay? You are the temple of God, bro, and it's holy. It's meant to be kept that way. You can't defile that temple with smoke. All right? What? Watch this. Give me a hold that. We're coming right back to it. Give me Baruch 4. Baruch 4. Watch this. Watch this. Read. Baruch chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endured forever. You see that? This book 
is the book of the commandments of God. So when we open up this book and we read out of it, we're reading commandments to you, bro. God is commanding you to throw that thing out. But you say, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. You see what I'm saying? Bam. That's the file like, in your temple, bro. Buy a bag of chill. Tell her how you chewing on gum. Well, well, well. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. On the side of that pack right there. Yeah. When you when you got you got the wrapper right. What it say on the side of that wrapper? Is it a warning on it? Is it a warning on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say uh uh. Surgeon General what? Right, right, right. So listen, you read that and still buy it and smoke it. You said it says that it will cause cancer, right? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 28, watch this. No, if we see if we see that it's made with pork, we don't eat it. We don't eat it, bro. <laughs> we don't. It's in a lot of stuff. I agree. Listen, I agree with you. It is. It is in a lot of stuff. I agree with you. But it's a lot of stuff that is not in there. Listen, it is in a lot of stuff, but it's in a lot of stuff that it's not in either. You can eat things that don't contain pork, bro. We do it all the time. All right, watch this. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. See that? The Lord has smitten our people with madness. Madness means that we don't know what's going on. We don't know right from wrong. We jacked up as a people. We do stuff that we know harms us. Like you just stated, you read on there that it would cause cancer, but yeah, it'll cause cancer, but you'll still buy it and smoke it. That's madness, bro. That's madness. Why would you do something like that? Why would you do something that you know is going to harm you? All you gotta do, you can start today. You know how you can start today? By just throwing that away right now. Okay, yeah, well, bro, and I'm gonna go ahead and keep it real with you. And God, tell me to tell you, I'm for the flick that motherfucker when I drive off, I'm gonna go buy another one. Well, see, listen, <laughs> listen. You see listen. What I'm you but know right, it takes time, just like. Yeah. But you know what? How long it take you? May, to find you may, you may. It took me a long, long time. time. We didn't, because we've never heard this before. We never heard this before. You see what I'm saying? Give me Syrah. Give me Syrah. Watch this. Watch this. Matter of fact, going, first give me first give me Psalms yeah. 119. Listen to this, bro. I feel you. I, I got you. I feel you. I feel you. You got the kids? Yeah, I got a son and a daughter. You got a son and a daughter. How old are they? My daughter six, my son two. You got any kids? No kids, right? Okay, I'll pray. Well, just listen to this example. All right. You say your son is how old? My son two. Okay, your daughter how old? Six. Okay. You let your children jump in the bed, jump on the furniture and stuff like that? If they, if you, if they, if they doing, if they, let's just say you come home, right, and they in there jumping on top of the table, and you know yeah. by them doing that it'll tear that table up yeah. and it could possibly harm them. What you gonna yeah. tell them to do? Get down. We're really them you gonna, yeah. you gonna tell them to get down, right? Yeah. Okay, so you gonna tell them to get down. Now, what if that child tells you, Daddy, it's a process. It's a process. I can't just do it right away. <sighs> I'm gonna keep doing it right now, Dad. Okay. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What are you to God? What are you to God? What are you to God? I'm a God to God. You are a child of God, right? So God, the Father, is telling His children to do certain things. And his children want to reply and say, "It's a process, Dad. It's a process, Dad." Huh? Huh? What's this? Psalms chapter 119 and verse 59. Listen, listen to this. I thought on my way. This is what you got to do, young man. This is what you got to do, young man. Listen, this is what you got to do, young man. Read. Psalms 119 and verse 59. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimony. You got to think on your ways, bro. You got to say, hold on, man. Are my ways lining up with God's ways? Am I doing what the Lord tells me to do? But we, but we showing you. You see what I'm saying? That, right. So we're showing you right now. Right. All praises. Raw praises, bro. It should. It should. See? And that's how we was. We ain't know a lot of stuff, man. Right. 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 So watch this. Listen to this. Read on. I made haste. What? I made haste. Read it from the top. Verse 59. Watch this. Listen good, y'all. Psalm chapter 119 and verse 59. Read. I thought on my ways uh -huh. and turned my feet unto thy testimony. This is what all 
all of us had to do. We thought on our ways and we turned our feet to God's testimony. We went to the Bible, we're like, hold on. What I'm doing don't, don't line up with what this say to do. Read on. Well, so what did we do then? I made haste. Made haste. It says we made haste, meaning we turned immediately. We didn't wait. We didn't hesitate. When he says a process, we he turned immediately and did what? And delayed not. And delayed not. Read. To keep thy commandments. The bands of the wicked have. So we didn't delay to keep God's commandments. So rock 5 and verse 7 now. Watch this. I'm going to show you why. We didn't delay. Why? We should not delay when it comes down to keeping God's commandments. When we hear our Lord, our Father, tell us something to do, we need to do it immediately. That's what you expect out of your children. That's what he expect out of his. Read. So Rob, chapter 5 and verse 7. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord. And put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. In your security you shall be destroyed. You telling the, you you sit here before us, the prophets of God, and say, I'm going to flick this mug off right now. But as soon as I get away from y'all, I'll buy another. Lord will kill you, bro. Immediately. He will kill you as soon as you flick that thing off. And as soon as you get in your mind to go and buy another one. He'll put you to death that immediately. Ride in the car with this brother. You understand? You better be afraid of God, bro. You better be afraid of God, man. That's why he was being real and they going to throw it away. Listen, that's the problem with our people. You think you can be real to God? No, bro. You better do what he say when he come down to the Lord. You see what I'm saying? We, we always talking about, I'm being real. I'm being real. No, bro. Being real today is keeping God's commandments. Right. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 